Hi guys, welcome back to Jolly Kitchen with me, Kit. Once again, we're starting season four. I'm so excited to be back after I've been a long holiday. And uh, during my holidays, I have seen so many places and so many people and so many interesting things and subjects as you might have seen on my post on the Instagram. And I'm really happy to come back here and start doing and continuing to contribute to this uh, internet community or YouTube community and today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple mango and Swiss sticky rice is it one of my very Thai dessert of all time and the list of the ingredients just right below on the description here just make sure you click it away or you can go to jollykitchenwithcare.com and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so alright let's waste no more time let's start jumping right into the cooking All right, let's get back into the kitchen. First, we're going to start off by preparing sticky rice. And this step is super easy. You just grab a large bowl or any like container that you prefer, and then just add the clean water. And this step, we're going to wash off any dirt and unwanted residue that stick with the sticky rice. Um, I will also use um, alum stone which you can find in any Asian grocery store this will help to get the sticky rice more clean and clear and the next step I'm going to rinse it off with the water repeat this step a couple of times and until you get no milky colors out of uh, sticky rice and the next part is just, just soak them in the water just overnight or at least three to four hours before you put into the steamer and cooking the cigarette is super easy I'm just going to grab my um, thin cloth here I always have it in my kitchen a piece of thin cloth is really good when you want to steam cigarette into the steamer so it prevents the cigarette to stick into your uh, steamer and it's also easier to remove it from steamer as well In this step, I'm going to steam the sticky rice for 35 minutes or it can be more depending on the quantity you want to cook. Set the heat into the medium high and make sure you set the timer as well. In this step, I'm going to measure the, um, some sugar and some coconut milk that I'm going to use. This part will be mixing with the cooked sticky rice. So um, if you got pan and leaves, grab one and then just cut into a small piece like this. In this step, you're going to turn the heat up into medium to low, add the coconut milk and then you're going to add some uh, caster sugar and then sprinkle a little bit some salt into that just to balance out the flavors and keep stirring until the sugar dissolves and everything's all well combined you're going to see the change in the colors and about roughly 10 to 15 minutes when you start to like simmering so make sure you don't boil this coconut milk and by the time you finish uh, cooking your coconut milk and the sticky rice probably going to finish at the same time so this have to be happening simultaneously so while sticky rice still hot and then just put into this one bowl together and use spatula just coating and flipping the sticky rice around just make sure it's evenly coated and then you're going to give it rest for 10 minutes
in the next part I'm going to show you how to make the uh, sticky rice topping this is like the white creamy um, coconut that you put on top of the sticky rice when you serve so I'm going to add some coconut milk and add some, a little bit of salt and then followed by a little bit of um, sugar and then you grab one spoon of like rice flour and make sure you stir it until it's well combined um, after 10 minutes you're going to flip your sticky rice just make sure that you soak up all these coconut milk And the next step you're going to plating this beautiful dessert and just add a little bit of topping and, and you can sprinkle a little bit of toasted uh, sesame and now it's ready to go. Alright guys, I hope you like what you see. This is mango and sticky rice and super nice, super nice dessert that you can easily make at home and everyone can enjoy it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We are starting season 4 now on Jolly Kitchen with Kit. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching today. Bye now.